Hi Aquarius, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am grateful to every one of you and as a way of saying thank you, I am going live here on YouTube on either the 30th or the 31st of December. So, we're going to do a live Q&A. So, your questions and we'll do a live card poll. So, I hope to see you there and we're going to have a ton of fun. Alright, ho I hope to see you there Aquarius. So, we're looking at your person's energies, the person on your mind. What is their current energy? How do they see you? What is the challenge of this connection? And then, what is the outcome? And then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pull a few advice cards. All right. Person's energy, three of wands. How do they see you? The world. The challenge is the six of cups. The outcome is the Ten of Swords. You have the Temperance. The Moon. And then the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, definitely a lot of changes, a lot of endings. A lot of endings all right i'm getting this person really broke your heart in the past there was a lot of trickery 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 this person tricked you a lot this person broke your heart all right three of wands energy your person's main energy um i'm getting very much very clear third party relationship relationship not just situation relationship this person was there is another person involved in this situation i'm not really sure why i'm getting that all right okay this person flirted with other people a lot and they became serious with one person that they started flirting with. If I'm not mistaken. Take it how it resonates. This person is actually trying to expand their horizons. Looking elsewhere. Is starting to look elsewhere. This is also a travel card. So this person is actually might be moving away from you physically. But please take it how it resonates. I am not, you know, you saw me shuffle these cards and I'm not making these, uh, this, these things up. You can actually look at the meaning of the cards. How do they see you, the world and temperance? All right. Okay. Please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, Aquarius. But they see you as this is something that's... It's either ended or about to end. It's either ended or about to end. You could have moved physically away from this person. You could be dealing with someone from a distance. But more so, there is emotional distance between the two of you. A lot of emotional distance. So yeah, again, this person sees that, you know, you could have ended. This relationship could have ended. This relationship could have or is ending. I'm getting your energy has been tested a lot. Your patience has been tested. 
and you're freeing up that burden of holding back what you really want to say you're gonna tell them what is on your mind you're no longer holding back if they're you're gonna tell this person how much they have hurt you i'm getting how much time you think you've wasted on this person I don't know who needed to hear that, but that's what I keep on hearing. What is the challenge of this connection? The Six of Cups to the Moon. All right. Okay. So I'm getting a fear of detachment. You could have had a long history with this person. I'm getting you've been together in the last six years. The last six years. So there's a lot of memories that you cannot let go of. That's a challenge. A lot of nostalgia. A lot of memories popping back here and there. This person could have actually dealt with a soulmate that came into this life or a twin flame or someone they've built a very strong soul connection with and it was hidden from you hidden from you but more so the challenge as i said is has to do with the memories, the relationship that you've built with this person. I'm getting this ending came out of the blue. It was sudden. And there's a fear of separating. You fear being alone. What is the outcome? The outcome is the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, if you're dealing with something legal like a divorce, you could be getting a lot of money. <laughs> this is a very painful separation that you're going through or you will be going through. Very painful. You love this person a lot. I mean a lot. So many happy memories that you've gone, uh, you've been, uh, you have with this person. That's why when you found out about this third party, it was so painful. So so painful. So if you are ending this with this with this person, you're getting a lot of money. The Ten of Pentacles is about money, about stability, also about family. I'm getting you're going to win your person's parents over to your side i'm not sure who needed to hear that but that is the energy that i'm getting so this is again for a very particular aquarius very very strong family dynamic so again, when you have very strong family dynamics, there's most likely a marriage involved. What is the advice? Queen of Wands. The Devil. The advice for you is the Ten of Cups, the Devil, and then the Queen of Wands. All right. It's, it's actually very simple. Spirit is reminding you that you are attractive, you're beautiful, you're magnetic, you're ambitious, you're driven. 
people would want to be with you anyone would want to be with you you are a catch all right stop being stuck with this person you could be very much married to this person ten of cups is a long-term relationship stop being so stuck on this you don't deserve anything that's put you in a third party situation or that's put you in a in a position where you question your worth you don't deserve that okay other messages for my aquarians all right two cards you have focus you need to focus and then stillness i'm getting a lot of clarity coming in when you start you know meditating being still listening being in the quiet and stuff like that so that's all I have for you, Aquarius. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you on either the 31st or the 30th of December. And I love you all. Stay blessed.